Hello, my name is Tyler, and I don't know how to use hats. It's got a smiley face on it, though. Reminds me of Nirvana. Not really, though. It doesn't look like it, but it reminds me of it because it's a smiley face with the X eyes. Pretty sure it's got X eyes. But Nirvana, I'm pretty sure, has the tongue. Hey, I got off topic. Uh, you're on my channel. Be over. I'm wearing an armadillo shirt also, because armadillos are cool. Um, so basically, I'm making this video. It's going to be a long one. Prepare for it. There's going to be editing that goes into it, but it's going to be a long fucking video. Making this video to introduce myself, because I have yet to do that on this channel. I figured I didn't need to, because of my gaming channel. And I forgot that not everybody likes to watch gaming videos. Especially mine. So here I am. And I'm doing this. And this is really loud. So here I am. And I'm doing this. I forgot to fix my microphone from the from the streams that I had all week. It's playing Kingdom Hearts. Awesome game. I also don't know how to wear hats. And this is bothering me. <laughs> but whatever. Let's get on with the video. So first off, uh, if you don't know by the channel name, my name is Tyler. Tyler Selly. Whoa. Oh. Fucking magic. Yo, I am 16 years old, hopefully, yep, I'm a boy, and <laughs> I enjoy playing music, I actually know I enjoy music in general, playing and listening, I just enjoy music, so uh, the reason that I made this channel, you may be asking, probably not, but I'm gonna fucking tell you anyway. The reason that I made this channel is because I had been getting into guitar for a while. Guitar, for some reason. It's a guitar now. I'm a redneck. I'm actually not. I'm Canadian, though. But not redneck Canadian. <laughs> Way off topic. Anyway, so I've been getting into guitar for a bit. And I had been learning songs. And at the time that I started thinking of doing this channel... I did not have, I, how do I word this? I was going to say I didn't have friends. I probably don't want to say that, though. <laughs> I didn't have a band to play with, and I didn't have people to show the songs that I was listening to. So I was listening to them, I was listening to them, I was learning them for my pleasure, which is still what I do to this day, I learn them for my pleasure. But some of them I can show off to you guys. And, uh, if you saw the first video that I put out on this channel, I explained how I make farting noise with my hand. Off topic again. I explained how I am not, never have been, and probably never will be a singer. <laughs> uh, but another question to raise is, if you're not a singer, why do you sing? What am I doing with my hands? Don't ask. Well, to answer that question, what was the question again? Well, to answer that question, uh, I hate going on YouTube. I, well, I love going on YouTube and searching for covers, but I hate going on YouTube searching for covers and it being an instrument-only cover, like a guitar cover or a piano cover, and it's got the actual song. It's like the reason I searched up the cover is to listen to you sing and see if you're horrible. And I may not be good, but I did it because I... <laughs> I would rather, because I personally hate listening to uh, you play over the original song. I prefer you to play the whole thing. Now, the reason that I, at the beginning of this, I said this was going to be a long video, because that's basically my introduction right there. That's me. I'm weird. I'm also now in a band. We haven't done anything. I'm not even sure I want to call it a band. I probably won't. I probably shouldn't. It's not really a band. It's a group of teenagers. Who talk about music and sex, because that's what teenagers do. But it's a girl, but <laughs> Well, the band name, I will tell you guys later, because I'm going to show you something. So basically, the instruments that I got in my house that I will be more than likely doing covers with, I, myself, have two guitars. One of which is acoustic, one of which is electric. I will show you both of those. I also have a ukulele. I will show you that as well, because why the fuck not? And I have a piano. I don't know why I'm only showing you my pinky. I got four. Two guitars, ukulele, piano. 
four instruments of my own, unless you count desk. Desk isn't an instrument. I also have addiction to Dr. Pepper, which is great. <laughs> um, so 90% of the time you will see me drink a Dr. Pepper. I will not frequently be making videos like this. I will be doing it in front of a camera, but usually I'm going to have a big instrument here and I'm going to be playing it. Beep, 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 beep. That's what I look like, mariachi style. And then violin. I don't have a violin. I want to learn to play violin, though. One step at a time, though. Piano first. Anyway, and then those are all the instruments that I have uh, of my own. Uh, there is another guitar here, which is my little sister's guitar. I'm not sure what to call her, my little sister. She's littler than me. Height and age. And body weight. So she's littler than me in general. But my my little sister, I'm going to keep calling her that because she's littler than me, uh, has her own guitar because she took up playing guitar. She dropped it for whatever reason. I will never know. But she took up playing guitar, and her guitar is still around, and it still lives, and it's actually behind me. The other way. There it is. You see that right there? That's a guitar. That's the back of the guitar, though. Back? The bottom. Not the back. The bottom. And now, basically, I don't know about my sister's guitar, but I have, um, well, my sister's guitar is all, like, drawn on and designed. It looks really cool. And I'll show you guys that. But on, not my piano and not the ukulele, but on my two guitars, I have stickers. Some of which I made myself using little sticky things that I no longer have next to me, so I can't show you, and I look crazy. Yay! I look crazy anyway. I'm talking to a microphone. And looking at a laptop. Hello, laptop. How are you today? <laughs> anyway, um, my guitar has stickers on it, and there's reason for the stickers. <laughs> as cheesy as it sounds, I did it for a reason. Now let's go grab them and show you. First instrument. This thing right here is the ukulele that I have. It's I think it's Hello. Hello. Yay. Since 1926, I probably got this guitar back, this guitar ukulele back in 1926. I can't play it. I don't know anything about playing ukulele. I'm not that hipster. Calm down. All right, this right here is my sister's guitar. Uh, with sleeping with sirens. Let me point them out. Holy shit, it's falling. It's heavier than I thought it would be. Sleeping with sirens. All time low. Five seconds of summer. A skull, because it looks cool. Blink-182. Green Day all the way at the top. And Pierce the Veil. All bands that she likes. And there's a capo on it because I was playing it. And yeah. Moving on. Cut the video feed. Cut it. Alright, next guitar, well, first of my guitars that I have is um, this one. The ukulele doesn't count as a guitar. As you can see right here in the camera without me showing you, uh, this is a Super Mario 1-Up from the retro Super Mario. I think that is the only one that doesn't really have a meaning to it. I just put it there. <laughs> There's no symbolism behind it, it's just, I liked it and I wanted it there. Uh, I've also show you real quick. I got an of mice and men sticker on there because I like of mice and men. And uh, for those of you who don't know, mice and men, the meaning behind their name is that of mice and men, the book is about the American dream, and they believe that they are living the American dream. You're welcome. Now, right up here on the head of the guitar, I will show you over closer to the camera. I have my well not technically my band well yeah my band's it's not your band my band's logo looks cool i think it looks fucking cool uh also the one up and the band logo were obviously homemade along with uh my sister's drawings but they actually look really cool these just look like <laughs> these just look like i traced them off the internet totally didn't do that shut up Alright, and now this one, if you watched um, my cover of Hello Good... No, Hello Goodbye is the guy. 
or band or whatever. Hello Goodbye is the artist. Um, Here in Your Arms. If you watch my Here in Your Arms cover, you'll see that I use this guitar, but it didn't have a sticker at that point. Um, It is a... Ah, oh, wow. It, <laughs> it is a Fender guitar. Um, My other my electric guitar, I should add, is a Nova. And I'll bring back my sister's guitar and show you and talk about that a little more. But, um... Yeah, this is the one with the symbols on it. This is the one where I get deep and shit. Now, right over here. Yeah, camera, that's right, you focus. Right over here, you'll see a Super Mario Fire Flower. It is the uh, retro one, like back in the older games, because that was what I was kind of raised with. Um... One of the first games I can remember playing is Super Mario 64. And I don't believe they had Fire Flowers in that game. But um, when I was a little bit older, but still younger than this, still younger than me now, um, my dad got me a GameCube. But he got an extension at the bottom of the GameCube so you could put Game Boy games in. And he also got the original Super Mario game. And I remember playing that game because it was fun as shit. I eventually stopped because I lost it. Then I found it, and I have it now, but I don't have it right here with me. But I play it. Basically, a flower, for me, kind of cheesy as it sounds, it's like a symbol of like a search for power kind of thing. This need for power in society. Deep. Damn. Poetic. Because, uh, think about it, if you got just your mushroom or no mushroom at all in Mario... Everything is going to fuck you up. But the second you got a flower, nobody stands in your way. Just shoot fireballs in your fucking gold. Now, the other one that I got here is actually my name. Written pretty cool, I think. And then this is a little symbol that uh, my math teacher from last semester uh, in my school used. And I thought it was really cool. And when I found out what it was... I thought it was even cooler. Uh, what That symbol is used to symbolize the end. And it, I put it next to my name because that's who I'm always going to be. Until the end kind of thing, you know? But it's going to be me. I'm not going to one day wake up and be like, Yo, I'm George Bush. That, no, I wouldn't want that. Fuck that. <laughs> uh, yeah, those are all the stickers on my guitars. Um... There's kind of sticky notes on my piano, but that's just because I was learning a song. I'm not going to show you the piano because my computer's plugged in. Um, not going to show you the piano, but uh, the piano has sticky notes on it because I was learning a song with my sister. Yes, playing it on the same piano because we're cool. And I couldn't remember the song for the life of me. I couldn't like play it. So then I left the sticky notes in colors there so I'd know which to play. Oh, I just hit my nose in the pot filter. Good job, Tyler. I'm going to go put this guitar away. I'm going to go grab my sister's guitar, and I'll be right back. But you guys won't see me leave because it's my cut right here. Woo! Alright. Hello. I'm back with the guitar. Um, Let's explain these. These are the actual band things. Um, so Pierce's Veil is, upsettingly, what I discovered what Pierce's Veil meant, it was kind of sad. <laughs> it was upsetting to me because it's a really cool name. But uh, Pierce's Veil is it's a business term for piercing the corporate veil. Not at all as cool as you thought it was. From my knowledge, I'm not 100% sure, I didn't research this beforehand. From my knowledge, Green Day is a day where you go and get high and smoke weed. And that's Green Day, as far as I know. From what I know, though. Blink-182, um, from what I've been told, like I said, didn't research this one either. Pierce the Veil I did, though. <laughs> but that was like a long time ago. I didn't do any research beforehand uh, before this video. Uh, Blink-182, from what I know, it's kind of like you blink and, like, your whole life flashes beho before your eyes. Like, you blink and 182 days go by kind of thing. 
that's as far as I know. Like I said, didn't research that one. Uh, sleeping with siren. If you don't know what a siren is, not like the ambulance sirens, like the kind of like mermaid-like things that would lure sailors and then lure sailors with their song, and then you know kill them. No big deal. <laughs> um, all time low is actually a newfound glory song. I don't know why that's their name. Uh, I couldn't find it when I researched it. But it is lyrics from a newfound glory song. I don't know which song. I don't remember. But yeah. And then five seconds of summer. I have no idea. <laughs> I'm not even going to try to know. I I have no idea. That's it. Alright guys. So thank you for watching. Um, I... I guess I had a fun time making this video. Got to talk about some deep shit with you guys. I didn't get to play any guitar. I'm going to do that after. I kind of did play guitar, but I'm probably going to cut that out. Yeah. <laughs> I stared at the screen for a second. I'm looking at my audio as I make audio waves. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. My name is Tyler. And check out my cover for Here in Your Arms by Hello Goodbye in the description. And I might also record a cover while I'm here. Bye bye though. If I don't record a cover, you won't find out about it. Bye bye. Ah.